I never thought going to Fiji would change my life. And I never imagined it might change the life of a young boy, Gariami Bettini. First time I met Sarah, Sarah just came along and just say hi Mbula to Barayami and she was talking to Barayami. And uh, me, I just look at them talking to each other. I keep on doing my work. And after that, Barayami called me and she and he explained me everything what Sarah said. I thought that Sarah will just be like that, just come because uh, we just met her on the way. I became close to Barayami and made him a promise I would not stop until I got him help. We both share the dream that one day he'll be walking. So now I'm schooling in Lotoka. I will be the one student of my family. I can do anything. In the teachers' meeting, we elected him to be one of the prefects of the school. And those are some of the qualities that we have seen in Vareme. A brave boy, courageous, wanting to belong. He's got that sense of uh, enthusiasm in him. And we see that in him that um, he could actually further his studies if he's given the proper guidance and support. It wasn't until I started filming him that I saw him move his legs. Variami's mother told me he was born normal. But at six months, he developed a boil on his back. He underwent surgery to drain the infection, and he woke up from the operation paralysed. Within two weeks, his feet turned in and deformed. I wanted clarity, so I took him to Lotoka Hospital. Just through observation, he's coming in with wheelchair. So in my mind, I, I, I can figure out that he's not able to walk at all. And he's not wearing any shoes. And he's got uh, an obvious deformity in both feet. So I have So some by filming the examination, I hoped that specialists back in New Zealand would become interested in Variami's case. So he's got a very good power on that. So I read this as five out of five. So it's full power quads on the left. Lapo. It's got a very good power. Five out of five on the right, five out of five on the left. Coming down to his feet, it feels normal on the left, but not on the right. But then I had another look, I was rubbing on the thick skin because of the pressure. Yeah. He's been putting weight on this. 
So I don't think it's something to do with the nerve region. It was during the assessment I was shocked to see the infection was still raw. He's been living with pain since he was six months old. It's quite deep, but uh, I cannot see the bone. Minimal distance from the right. It's more of hemorrhagic rather than pus. It looks good, it's relating well. I'm not too sure whether it's something congenital or something that they must have acquired after the operation. The doctor was unable to determine the exact cause of Very Amy's condition. But the hospital clerk was clear about the nature of his birth. The mum was having emergency lower segment cesarean section, meaning that uh, he was not uh, born a normal delivery. And in this case, it's just the feet came first. So that is the bridge delivery. But for the folders, all the 1993 cases have been discarded or burned, mm -hmm. meaning that all those, including Wariame, has been discarded, which is stated to us that he is a normal baby. I also learned that day that club foot deformities are not operated on in Fiji once an infant is past one year of age. And Variami is 17. I left Fiji determined that Barry Amy would walk again. But it was nine months of cold calling back in Auckland until a specialist finally showed interest. It looks as though there's chronic infection or, or chronic scar tissue. See this pink stuff where the skin has been depigmented? Yeah. through there indicating that it's been around for a long time and it looks quite extensive there may be a lot of bone to be taken mm. out looking at that hole in his buttock or in between the buttocks over the sacrum i'm hopeful that because you can almost draw those buttocks together as it is once we've excised or cut away all of that dead and infected tissue that chronic scar tissue we can mobilize the gluteus maximus the muscle tissue and hopefully slide that over the raw areas and join it. He would be treated with at least six weeks of intravenous antibiotics to combat that infection. And those combined efforts would clear up any bone infection and clear the way for definitive orthopaedic surgery. It had been two years since I made my promise to Variami. I was about to find out the result of my appeal to Romac Oceania a rotary organisation dedicated to funding medical treatment for children. I've got some good news for you, Sarah. Yeah? i got some fabulous news because Romek has just approved Viriana to be a patient and I think we can carry on from now on and we can actually get Viriana out of New Zealand so we can start fixing them. How's that? That's fantastic. Thank you so much, Sarah. Viriana is now an official Romac patient. Yep. And very armors now going to come out to New Zealand, and we're going to do our very, very best to get them fixed up. I couldn't wait to return to Fiji and bring them the news.
um, forms that you filled out. They've really paid off. Romy, they have accepted your Emmy. We are delighted to tell you that as a result of an appeal from your friend Sarah, Romac have reviewed your case and agreed to provide sponsorship for you and your mother to fly to Auckland for your assessment and full medical treatment. We look forward to meeting you in New Zealand and wish you all the best as you begin the long journey to recovery. <laughs> I believe as a mom that one day I'll walk along with Barayami side by side without wheelchair.